Hi everybody! I'm trying to get my camera on. Popping on. Today we're talking dry hands. Remember you guys told me some topics you want me to talk about so I thought let's talk dry hands. Now it's spring so hopefully some of that winter dryness is gonna ease up and get better but it doesn't matter. We can still just do the same things for our hands pretty much year round to keep them healthy, hydrated, and protected, right? So when I talk dry hands, now there's lots of reasons people have dry hands. You know, you wash them too much. Maybe you're using a hand sanitizer with alcohol, which is drying them out. Don't do that. <laughs> well, at least try ours out without alcohol. It's nice. Um, but there's lots of different reasons. Maybe you live in a really cold climate, you know, in that dry, cold air. Maybe you keep your heater on a lot in your house. All those things happen that dry our hands out. Um, and of course, once they dry, they crack they bleed, they do all that unfun stuff that we don't like, right? So you have to take care of them. And the big thing is you have to be consistent. You have to take care of them every single day. If you're not consistent, it just comes back usually, the dryness and the cracking and all of that. What you really need to do though, is start by exfoliating your hands, right? Just like we always tell you to exfoliate your face so your serums and your moisturizers can sink in. Exfoliate your body, neck down, right? With your polishes and whatever else you're using um, to exfoliate so all those lotions and things can, can sink in. Well, same thing for your hands. Exfoliate your hands. And what do you use? Well, you use your body polish. Sweet Melon for me, right? Hello, Sweet Melon. Oh, I love these new scents. So Sweet Melon is a body polish. Now. You can use it neck down, but don't forget your hands. That's what we're talking about, dry hands today. Um, this is sugar-based, and I highly recommend you use a sugar-based. Now, our lavender mint is our only salt-based um, body polish. And you can use that, but if you have any cracks or anything from dry hands, it's gonna burn from the salt. It won't hurt anything, but it just won't feel as good. So if you have dry hands or cracking hands, use a sugar-based polish until your hands get healthy, and then go back to your lavender mint if you're a lavender mint-loving um, person, if you love that scent, which I do, by the way. So use a body polish and exfoliate your hands. And one thing you want to remember is don't exfoliate for five seconds, right? That's not going to do it. You need to really grab, like scoop out some of that body polish, rub it between your hands, kind of like goody, 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 you know, kind of like this, hey, you, you know, if you're waiting for something really good to happen, you're like, oh, you know, keep doing that. Rub, go in between your fingers, go up and down your fingers. You want to do the sides of your fingers, everything, right? Massage your nails, everything. You want to really get in and work that sugar in. Let the sugar do its magic and exfoliate all those dead skin cells off your hands, right? And that way, and you don't necessarily want to exfoliate every day, but you do want to hydrate every day. But exfoliate at least, if you have dry hands, I would say one to three times a week using your body polish. So after you ex exfoliate it, of course, these body polishes have those wonderful essential oils. See the essential oils at the top, right? And you want to stir it and mix all that in before you use it, right? All that goodness, you want to stir it together. But those essential oils are going to be hydrating your hands. You've, you're exfoliating with the sugar, and while you're doing that, the essential oils are starting to sink in because you're getting that dead skin cells all that gook gone right and all that new skin is going to be surfacing right so once you've exfoliated you're going to like just kind of you know exfoliate your hands maybe rinse it off right pat dry you want to let those oils sink in don't rub it off you want the oils to stay and sink in then you need to hydrate during the day I highly recommend our ultra hydrating body cream for that. It is a super great daily hydration uh, product. I love it. It's unscented. It's really easy to use. Um, the reason it's so good is it has shea butter. Um, I believe it has coke. Yeah, it has cocoa butter, shea butter, and aloe in it. So it's got some really awesome things for hydrating your hands, and you can use this all day long. If you're more of a pump person, grab the Mango Paradise you know, lotion, that new lotion. You can not only try a new scent, but you can be using a lotion that's really awesome for hydrating. So that's during the day. And do it throughout the day. If you hydrate once a day, probably your hands are gonna be dry throughout the day. Rehydrate, because we wash our hands all day long as we cook or do cleaning or whatever we're doing, eat, right? So you need to rehydrate. You don't necessarily have to do the body polish again, you don't. You've already exfoliated, but you do need to hydrate several times during the day. So grab a little lotion, put one of these at your sink. 
Put one of them in your bathroom, right? Put it by your computer. Uh, you know, whatever you have, wherever you spend your time, the bulk of your time, keep it there so you, so you can constantly hydrate. Just like your lips, you're always putting on lip balms. Don't forget your hands. All right, so do that during the day, and then here comes nighttime, right? This is when you want to up your game. Step it up a little bit. Now, you could still just use the Ultra Hydrating Body Cream at night. It's amazing. But I would do more than that at night. I would grab either our healing elements right here and put that on my hands at night and then throw some, some um, gloves. I start to say socks. Throw some gloves on because it's a little more oily. But this has awesome ingredients. They're going to really, really work on, on helping your hands soothe all that, you know, all that um, irritation that you may have from having dry hands. So use the healing elements if you want. You could even grab the nail balm. Grab the skin and nail balm and put that on your hands and then put some gloves on. It's really up to you which product you want to use. But you, the skin and nail balm and the healing elements are a little more on the oily side. And so that's why they're almost like an ointment feel. So that's why you put gloves on so it's not um, greasy. Or another thing you could do if you're not into that is grab the Mandarin Orange Whipped Body Butter. This stuff is amazing. Really, really hydrating. Oh. It's fluffy, you can see it, I love it. This is mine, I just love this stuff. First of all, it smells so, oops, I lost uh, contact there. Every time I open this jar, it makes me happy. Mandarin orange, whipped body butter, you can't smell that and be unhappy, I'm telling you. But put some of that on your hands at night. And you may still wanna throw some gloves on because it's a little greasy at times, but usually it sinks in pretty fast. But I love that stuff too. So, you're gonna exfoliate your dry skin off one to three times a week. You're gonna moisturize all day long. Just all day long, every chance you get, throw some new stuff on. Then at night, you're going to grab a little extra stuff, like your healing elements, your nail balm, maybe your whipped body butter, whatever you want, and put a little bit of extra uh, stuff that's going to work a little more, and, and then put some gloves on and go to sleep, and then wake up the next day, and you're going to find your hands are going to get better. They're going to get better, they're going to feel better, they're gonna stop being so cracked, um, and, and, and all that stuff that's not fun, and I think it will work for you. So let me know in the comments what you use for dry hands. What are you using? What's working for you? Are you exfoliating? If you are, what are you using, right? We have different products for that. Um, and let's share what's helping each other's hands. And it's not always just even hands. You can even talk about feet if you want, because I know you know a lot of you say, hey, we have really dry feet too. What, what are you using there too? But mostly we're concentrating on dry hands and what's working and how to get rid of the, all the cracking and the bleeding, right? Because that's not fun. That stuff hurts. It really doesn't feel good when you have hands that are not healthy. All right, so that's all I had today. I hope you're having a good day. We'll come back again tomorrow with tomorrow's topic. I forgot what tomorrow's topic is, but I wrote it down, so I'll come back. But don't forget, I dropped that bundle today. Check out the new bundle from Home Office. It's only good for a month, and then the price goes away. The products are still available, but they won't be bundled together, and you won't save money. You'll pay more money in April. So, oh, no, actually, it's May. I'm sorry. You'll pay more money in May. This is a bundle for April. So it's get your glow on, I think is what they called it. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. And I will be coming live for sure to talk about that bundle because those are three dynamic, amazing products that you're going to want to put into your spring skincare routine to up the glow, right? And get healthy. And uh, if you're already healthy, just add a new product in and, and stay healthy, right? The, all these products are good for your skin anyway. So you can mix and match and change it up and all that. It's all good. It's not going to hurt you. And uh, you're going you're gonna to love your skin for spring and summer. All right? Got to go. Thanks for joining me. Let's get rid of those dry hands. It's time to not have dry hands anymore and get healthy hands so we can be proud of them. They feel good. They smell amazing, right? Especially if you're using the mandarin orange. You're going to smell like a walking orange, right? <laughs> love that stuff. Oh, love it. All right, got to go, ladies. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.